All right, y'all, here we are. We got our seeding trays, we got our seeding mix, we got our seeds, we're gonna plant some seeds. The seeds that we're gonna be using here are small ones, mostly greens and broccoli and cauliflower and kale and collards, mustards. Some of you guys have big seeds like these are gonna use pots like this. So you're gonna have seeds like squash, sunflowers, you're gonna, gonna use the bigger pots. All right, so what I wanna do when I use these is I'm gonna get my mix and I got it nice and wet. I'm gonna wanna test your mix. You can see there's some dry patches. And the way I see it's dry is when I pick it up, it's just like dust, it's dry dust. So I wanna get it a little wet. And so what I'm gonna do is get my watering can. So just give it some water. Let that water soak in. Watch it soak in. And I'm gonna use my hand. So you guys are gonna get wet, but it's important that you touch this stuff so you know how it feels. If you're just mixing it with a shovel or a stick, you're not gonna know. And what you want, when you squeeze it, for it to hold some shape, okay? If it's too wet and you squeeze it, the water will come out, you see that? So I wanna mix that more so it goes deeper, it's not too, too wet. The reason why you wanna get your soil wet is because when you put it in here, you'll see on the bottom are some holes. And if it's not wet, if it's just dusty, it's gonna fall through. All right, so I'm gonna grab a handful. Now you can see under there, you can see the difference. Where I got the water, where the water didn't reach. I might have to add some more. I'm gonna just start putting it in. If I lay it on, then I'm gonna take my hand, rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. Alright, so we got this little area. We're gonna do just a part of this today. Show you how to do it. You're gonna do your whole tray and one day on the same day. I wanna make sure I always notice the corners end up getting not a lot of soil. So I wanna make sure that, and then the edges. So I wanna push it all in. And I'm rubbing my hand in there and that's how I know the soil really got in there. Now I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm just gonna press down lightly and I'm gonna make these divots. Little dimples, really. It's not going very deep. My fingers are not really even sinking in. Just making a spot for the seeds to rest. If I push them too deep, see how my fingers in there, too deep, then the seeds won't have enough energy to grow big enough and they'll get stuck at the bottom when they try to grow and they won't come out and that's not fun so we want these to come out so I'm just doing like this I like to use two fingers you just go quickly just like that and then I'm gonna come with my seeds and today out here I'm gonna plant some basil seeds here they are they got basil, basil. so I'm gonna plant this lemon basil just to, I want to highlight this seed company out of Oakland, California. That's our local seed, so they're dope. We want to hook them up. They got a lot of different types of plants from all over the world to represent local. So here we go. I'm going to open this up. Now yours are just going to be in bags. Because I've kind of like rationed them out for you. And I'm just going to open this up. I'm gonna get my seeds and I'm gonna put them in my hand. Let's see if I can lay this up like that. Alright, here we go. So I'm get my seeds. And I put them in my hand. I don't wanna to take too much because it's gonna be hard to work with. These are little. See how little these seeds are? This is basil. And I wanna make sure this hand is clean and dry because I'm gonna pick these up in like a little pinch like this. Just got a little pinch, and I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna count one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And so I'm kind of just rolling my fingers, letting those seeds pop out. 
I'm putting two seeds in every hole. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now, sometimes if I try to go too fast, it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, I'm gonna put up too many seeds. The reason why we're trying to put two seeds and not one seed is because sometimes our seeds don't germinate. They may be a bad seed. They may just get eaten by something. So we put that extra one in there to make sure that our, we get something growing. But we don't wanna do more than two because if we do too many seeds, then as they come up, they're gonna be overcrowded and there won't be enough room for them to grow big enough for us to take them out and put them in something else. So it's kind of like overcrowding, wasting space. And so we want to just try to do two at a time, two at a time, two at a time. So I finish this last one. Take your time. Find a nice rhythm, feel it out, and just chill out while you do it. Find a nice quiet place if you can to do this. So, all right, so eventually this is what it looks like. And my seeds are really little, but you can kind of see them. One, two. I did my best. Alright, so then I got that covered. So I'm planting the whole thing. Just not doing it today. It's gonna take too much time. I got this all this area is covered or planted. So once you put seeds in the whole thing, you're gonna get more of your seed mix. And you're just gonna come through and sprinkle it on top. Not too much. Just enough that it covers. And so I just took like not even a full handful. You want to cover the seeds, but not, again, bury them too deep. Now it's covered. And then I get my watering can. And I'm just going to lightly water and let that water soak in. Let it soak in. So if I see it start to puddle, I move it somewhere else. Let it soak in. And when I hear it dripping through or see it coming out, then it's ready. Now these things are gonna dry out really fast. So you're gonna have to water them one time, maybe two times, maybe even three times a day, depending on how hot it gets where you have it. On a really hot day, they can dry out in a couple hours. So you wanna check it first thing in the morning, and then as the sun goes down in the evening, make sure it's nice and wet. And check it in the middle of the day on those really hot days. Now after I've planted it and it's watered, I want to get my label. So what we use in the garden is this tape. So you can see what used to be in here was this yellow Cipollini onion. And we put the date that it was planted. So you want to make sure on this one, this is called basil and it's a lemon basil. But what it is is basil. So I'm gonna put that basil there and then I planted it today, 514. Keep it wet and document how it grows. Take pictures of it, show you, and make sure it looks good. There it is.